Hi there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today I'm gonna to talk about nine productivity hacks I use every single week to get everything done in my business. Welcome to my video where I'm gonna talk about nine productivity hacks I use inside my business to get more done every single week. Now, I have a lot of people that are in my community and even people that work with me that are constantly asking, you know, how are you getting everything done? You do a lot of affiliate marketing campaigns, you do media buying, you own your own products, you do a lot of email marketing, uh, you run real estate offline. How does it all get done? And how many people and people, how many people are actually working for you, okay? And you'll be surprised to know that I only have two people helping me regularly on my business. I'm gonna show you why I'm able to get everything done. I'm using tools online to help manage my business, okay? So number one, one of the best tools I recommend, it's free and most of the tools I talk about here will be free, is Asana, okay, or Asana, whatever you wanna call it. It is a project management tool. I'm gonna go inside my computer here and I'm gonna show you how I use this tool to manage my day-to-day -to -day tasks. You're gonna see what my typical week looks like as I build my business online. I've been a full-time online affiliate marketer since 2015. I started affiliate marketing in 2002 and I've generated millions of dollars in revenue from the internet, so let's just have a look at what it is I actually do in a, uh, in a week. Coming in here, you can see inside Asana, if you go to asana.com, you can sign up for their free tool. Basically, it gives you this project management um, platform that you can start creating tasks, projects, lists, worksheets, all of that kind of stuff. I am a type of person that likes to work off checklists. So what I've done is I've created a daily checklist and each checklist is based on a specific project I'm working on, okay? So if I come in here and I click on personal projects, so I can also have a company set up in here. So I have my company set up where people that work for me can actually come in here and I can create tasks for them, but I also have my own personal projects. And let's have a look at what it looks like inside here. Okay, so here's how I have it set up. I have it set up so that each day of the week has a checklist, but at the same time, I have a couple of major projects that I also keep intact, and I have these all over on the left side under my favorites menu, okay? So these are my favorite projects. I have all of my websites and campaigns under one here, so if I click on there, you'll see a checklist where I can create sections for each website I'm managing, okay? I currently have only three websites I am currently managing myself, and and those ones are kind of my babies. They create a lot of income for me and I just kind of keep them to myself, okay? Then I have other projects that I have people helping me on. The Powerhouse Affiliate and Day Job Hacks project. This is what you're watching right now is my Day Job Hacks YouTube channel. I also have a product at powerhouseaffiliate.com where you can sign up for free training as well, okay? So those are the products that I also work on. And then I have my SEO case study that I'm currently doing. And then I have my YouTube video ideas in a checklist. And then we get into my actually actual work week here. So I have Monday where I kind of focus mainly on my offline. I'm doing my banking, I'm checking investments, I'm reading the news, all of that stuff, what's going on this week in the markets, and I'm going and checking out the real estate pro projects that I'm working on, okay? So that is Monday. Tuesday, now is where we're getting into my actual online stuff, and most of my checklists are designed to be about a half of a day's work. That way I have other time in my day to do anything else that might pop up, because a lot of things pop up when you're working online, okay? Um, always a little technical issue, maybe something needs to be tested and tweaked here and there, so I usually keep my checklist to a half a day's work. So on Tuesday, I'm going to be doing my morning routine where I come in and I plan out my two videos for the week for the Day Job Hacks YouTube channel. This is the channel you're watching right now. If you like this type of video, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot in building this channel. Like the video, comment, all of those things help me in the search engines. Please do it, okay? Now that I have that out of the way, I plan and basically create my videos on Tuesday. It takes about two to three hours per video, even though my recordings are only 10 to 15 minutes because I do all of the editing myself, okay? So Tuesday is basically locked up for, for YouTube, and I love it. Don't get me wrong, I might not have a lot of subscribers, I might not be making a ton of money right now off YouTube, but I really enjoy it, and that's why it's part of my work week. Wednesday comes around, 
Now I'm focusing on my paid traffic campaigns, mainly on Facebook and Google, more so on Google lately because Facebook is really pissing me off lately by banning and basically shutting down everything I try and run. Whether it's white hat, black hat, gray hat, it doesn't matter. Facebook just hates me, it seems. So I've decided to just focus on other traffic sources, but Wednesday I'm still running a little bit of Facebook, more Google, and I'm tapping into Snapchat, LinkedIn, um, Pinterest, Bing ads, native ads, all of those are part of my work week as well. I'm gonna show you where that fits in. Thursday is all about Powerhouse Affiliate, updating the content, that is a product I own. I wanna make sure people get value when they come in and read the premium content or watch the videos, the trainings, and all of that stuff, okay? Thursday, lined right up for that. Friday, native ads. I'm doing a lot of native ads on Friday or I'm setting up campaigns and case studies for the community inside Powerhouse Affiliate. So I'm running a lot of stuff in there. I'm testing different sources like Snapchat, Pinterest, um, display ads, all of that stuff is on Friday. And the reason why I'm able to do this is because I use automated bidding, okay? I'm gonna talk about that here in a second. I talk about this in my other videos, but basically I'm letting the algorithms of these major traffic sources do most of the optimizations for me, where I'm only updating the landing pages, the ad copy every now and then. I'm not constantly looking at my stats. I'm not constantly going and hitting the refresh button to see if I have conversions, because that is a time waster, okay? After a while, once you start doing a lot of affiliate marketing campaigns, you're going to realize that if you keep refreshing your stats, you're wasting a ton of time. Okay, so. That is Asana, I highly recommend you use Asana. Let's go to the second tool now that I use, which is dropbox.com. Highly recommend you get a, a, um, a tool out there that lets you put all of your files offline or off your computer online, I mean. So you're putting all of your files inside one of these storage sites that allows you to store files, okay? So Dropbox you can get for free as well. Go in there, they'll give you a certain amount of gigabytes that you can actually save files. And this means every time this laptop breaks down or every time my personal computer breaks down, at least I don't have to go through the hassle of trying to get all those files back. It's already going to be inside my Dropbox. I also have an offline storage device for all of my most sensitive files. But inside you can see I have all my landing page templates. All of my campaigns are in here, my companies, all anything related to day job hacks. I use Dreamweaver to build all my landing pages. It's all in here. So basically Dropbox is my, my file system for my companies and it really helps me to keep everything all in one place so that I have quick access to it when I'm saving seconds every single day and every single hour, I'm actually saving many, many hours every single month, okay? So that is why I'm using tools like this to save time. The next thing I do is I use bookmarks, as you can see up here on my Google account. So I'm using Google Chrome. Every time I sign into Google Chrome, no matter what computer I use anywhere in the world, I can sign into my Google Chrome account and it'll bring up my bookmarks, which gives me everything I'm working on. All of my tracking systems for my affiliate marketing campaigns, my master documents, like my passwords for certain affiliate accounts, whatever it is in there. Facebook, this is all my links for like getting my emojis for my ads, ad images, links to the tools I use to create my ad images, all of that kind of stuff in there. Powerhouse Affiliate, Day Job Hacks, all of my accounting stuff here that I use, the tools I use, I'm gonna talk about here in a second. Server stuff, anytime I have a problem with my server, it's right here in the bookmarks toolbar. And as well, I have all of my affiliate programs linked in here so I can keep track of all of the places that I'm running traffic to all right here. Google is all the Google Docs that I use to manage other things in my business, okay? The next tool I'm gonna to talk about is the automation of my actual product. I, I do have a membership product that sends out a lot of transactional emails. I also send out multiple emails every single week with those other websites I manage and I'm using software to automate most of that, that process. For my product itself, Powerhouse Affiliate, I'm using a member. It is a uh, membership management platform that allows me to have a membership portal on my server where I can share content and charge people if they want to access premium content. It also sends out multiple transactional emails automatically. Hey, you know, thanks for, for buying or here's access to the product you purchase. All that stuff is automated. Once you set it up once, it's actually working. All you have to do is make sure you continue to maintain your content and create a product that people enjoy 
enjoy, okay? Next, I'm using Aweber, which is my automated email software, where I've hired some people to, in the past, to create multiple emails for the projects that I'm working on for the search, search engine optimization project. So a lot of those emails are automated through the autoresponder. However, each week I do spend time writing my own emails to my subscribers that I share maybe once or twice a week, I will send a message. And I do take the time to write that message because I feel it's important to connect with my audience, okay? The next thing I'm doing is I'm creating landing pages all the time. So one of the tools I use is just by creating one domain. It's not even a tool, it's just a strategy. I create one domain that is very general and overarching, okay? And then I can test multiple landing pages all inside the same domain. So for example, if I'm running in the finance niche, I might buy a domain that says finance daily or something along those lines so that I can just set up WordPress once, set up Optimize Press once, and that is my landing page builder tool, the Optimize Press tool. All of the links will be down below, by the way, if you want to access these tools um, and basically I can create multiple different landing pages I can clone them I can tweak them all of that stuff quickly under one domain so I'm not constantly buying a new domain setting up WordPress setting up optimized press every time I want to test a new offer okay once I find something that might stick then I might go the extra mile and create a website as I have done on my other projects, okay? Lastly, one of the most important parts of any business is keeping track of your finances. For myself, I'm spending money on multiple different platforms, meaning I have to track expenses on all of these tracking platforms, all of these ad networks, everything, all of my expenses and all of the revenue coming from multiple different streams of revenue that are coming from affiliate networks, Google AdSense, YouTube revenue, all of this stuff coming in. How do I track all that? I use a tool called QuickBooks, okay? QuickBooks Online, it is extremely simple to use. I connect my bank, I connect all of my credit cards to it, and it basically automatically pulls in all of the information, and I create rules for each transaction so that in the future, if it sees another transaction that's similar, then it automatically filters it and puts it into the correct category in my books. It's all done properly, and so that every month, all I have to do is just go in and and save and reconcile my business um, accounts, okay? So for example, every time I spend money on Google, it has a threshold of $500. So there could be multiple transactions every day from Google for $500. Every time it hits the $500 threshold, it sends a transaction to my credit card. If I had to be a bookkeeper and I, if I had to actually manually add all of those into my booking or my bookkeeping, it would take me hours and hours of work. But I set up a rule so every time Google is in the description and it's worth $500, that has to be classified as advertising expenses, okay? And then same for the revenues coming in, it would be the affiliate commissions, US dollars, whatever it is, okay? All rules that are automated, super easy to do once you actually get the account at QuickBooks, and then all of your bookkeeping can be done quickly, making sure you pay the tax man. Okay, so that is everything for today. Hopefully you enjoyed those quick productivity hacks. If you did, please comment below, like, whatever it is. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like this type of video, making money online, all of that fun stuff. I do it every single week. Thank you again. Delay, 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 delay. Delay, 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 delay. Throughout the week on many different other, on, uh, I also send out different traffic sources. Is, uh, lastly, one of the most important